How did you get your girlfriend? We lived in the same neighborhood for years but never really noticed each other until my dog got her dog pregnant. Best wingman ever. Humor. It all started with a few jokes and we had a laugh. Six years later she's my wife. Sense of humor is hands down the cheapest, easiest way to make a really good impression and have people like being around you. It's not what you do or say that people remember. It's how you made them feel. Make people feel good around you and they'll want to be around you. Women included. I didn't knew her but we had a friend in common that used her own wedding as a way to play matchmaker between us. She organized a game where each guest was paired with another one and every duo had to take a silly picture with a small prize for the silliest one. Here is my conversation just after meeting her. Me. So we have to take a silly picture. Do you have an idea? Her. No. We can do whatever you want. Me. What about a picture where I pretend to strangle you? Her. Ah no. That would be mean. Me. Okay then. So what about a picture where I pretend to duck you in the ass? Her. Okay. I was in love. Picked up three chairs at the same time. Hated each other at work for over a year. Bumped into her on a night out and she looked sexy as hell. We danced. Kissed. Got a taxi home together. No funny business. I dropped her off and stayed in the taxi. Met up for a date a few days later and that was over 10 years ago. We've now got two kids and get married next year. I was at a country bar nightclub. I saw this group of girls across the way. I picked out prettiest of them and took my chance. Walked up to her. Lifted my hat. Gave an ear to ear grin. And said mom. Would you like to dance with me? She giggled. Looked me over. And said no thanks. Ouch. My. Prode. But then one of her friends down the Jager bomb. Slammed the glass down. Burped and said duck it, come here cowboy, it'll dance with ya, and we did. Spent the night getting completely it faced and dancing until my calves were on fire. She came home with me and we had really fun sloppy six. Next morning she got dressed and said hey is it a one night thing or do you want my number to do it again? Glad I got her number. We've been together 6.5 years now. I was in a nightclub for a friend's 19th birthday. Hadn't really been pursuing girls as I was happy just having pints with the guys. Around 2am I see this girl on the dance floor and my brain just goes ding ding. Now I had recently read in a men's magazine that when you first make eye contact with a girl, you have to be decisive and go over there and introduce yourself without hesitation. Because if you hesitate or shy away then you look low confidence or not fully interested and she will be less receptive to your advance. So with this magazine advice in the back of my mind, I said to myself do it. I didn't take my eyes off her. I walked straight across the crowded dance floor, maintaining eye contact. So I get up to her, and I hadn't planned this far in advance. I had no line to deliver so I just kind of said hello. Luckily she said hi and we ended up making small talk. I didn't know how to seal the deal but somehow ended up giving her a hug, which then turned into a kiss. Then I realized my phone was dead and I had no way to take her number. Luckily my friend the birthday boy was on hand and she entered her number into his phone for me. A couple of days passed then I texted her to ask her out to the cinema the following Wednesday night. And we hit it off from there. We are now together 13.5 years. Are married for the last 5.5. And have two children and a dog. Allah. Saw girl on Instagram. Messaged girl on Instagram asking for a date. She said yes. We'd never spoken before then but I figured duck it. Worst thing that can happen is she says no and I go and jerk off like I was going to anyway. From the wife. I met her at a friend's picnic. Well. First. I was really impressed that you baked. I made all the desserts for the party. And I liked that you showed interest. But not desperation. You were respectful and polite. And you showed me that you listen and are attentive. When she looked cold. I offered her a sweatshirt. I asked about her dog. And the next time we saw each other. I gave her a pack of his favorite treats. What impressed me most is how fearless and friendly you are with strangers. You talk to anybody and make them feel comfortable and appreciated. Every single girlfriend I've ever had approached me. I'm 28. Last girlfriend was at 19. Girls just stopped approaching so I guess I'll die single lol. 
I was walking around at a football game and my friend was walking with this really cute girl and he said hey, my name, my friend thinks you're cute you should date her, and so we did. My babushka introduced me to her. I met her a while ago and asked her on a date, she, obviously, said no because she literally just got engaged. Years later I ran into her again and found out her marriage ended. We got to catching up and things just happened. I was a lot more confident, funny, and charming back then though. I had a red ton of charisma and I did very well with women. I'm a shell of who I once was unfortunately. I'm anxious and shy. I never know what to say anymore. Because honestly, I'm scared how people will react. I don't know what happened to me. She dated my best friend in high school. They weren't serious and she had a huge crush on me. Cut to years later and my friend tells me I should go on a date with her. Even calls her to come hang out with us. We played some darts with mutual friends and I leaned in and said for good luck while kissing her on the lips. 11 years later and we are still together. Grabbed her by the ponytail and dragged her home. Be friendly and make an effort to smile and ask questions to everyone you meet. Not just girls. Get practiced at holding conversations with people and eventually a girl is going to be attracted to you and hopefully you feel the same. Just have longer more personal conversations with the one you're attracted to and see where it goes. We learn as much in our failures as we do in our successes but you have to try many times. Met her on Modern Warfare 2. I was charmingly awkward when we started dating. She says it's because I found another girlfriend after she initially rejected me. I guess finding a girlfriend after you've been rejected makes you more attractive. Because Tinder ducked up actually. We both had our distances set to 10 miles max and we live 30 miles away from each other. We tried to figure out if we were anywhere near each other when we matched but there's no way it should have happened. A year and half later and we're still going strong. Basically we were on a video chat and we both said we had something to tell each other and then my GF's brother screams. GF's name. Likes you and we've been together for 7 months now so honestly as much as I hate him I kinda owe him not. We were acquaintances in high school. One day she thought it'd be cool to clean out my locker for me without telling me. I failed to see her kind gesture because I lost a book from that ordeal. For that I yelled at her. Years later after we started dating, she told me that made her want me. I'm still confused by this. Edit it for clarity. Chuck a dart at a family tree and see where it lands. We met freshman year of high school. I asked her out a week before homecoming and we went together. That night she broke up with me because I didn't dance with her at all. Valid reason tbh. A year later I get her a nice necklace for valentine's day and we end up walking back to her place later that day. Mutual acquaintance pressures me into asking her out at that moment. So she says yes and then before she goes inside she kisses me and runs in for the night. A month later she breaks up with me again. Two more years go by and I have a night of liquid luck where I am the most charismatic, smooth methodica on the planet. End up playing every card right that night. Flirting. Humor. Just enough contact. And then when I leave her house at like 1 to 2 am. I kiss her deeply and just leave. A week or two goes by and we're officially dating. Been together ever since and we're coming up on 6 years of being in an official relationship now. Couldn't be happier. Obviously there's a ton of details missing in my timeline. But that's the bare minimum. Truly a roller coaster of relationship drama mixed in there. Offered her my hoodie and the hand warmers from my underwear at a music festival. I stalked her online. I was young, horny, and broke. I had a free account on an online dating site that charged to be able to contact people. I found her profile and she had managed to sneak the first half of her email address past the censors so I googled her several times over the next week until she posted on another website with her email and then I contacted her out of the blue. Later, after chatting back and forth a few times, she told me where she worked and I said I might swing by sometime. The very next day her boss walked into the back room where she worked and offered to call the cops because some guy who was mispronouncing her name and introduced himself as my name from the internet was looking for her. We've been married for over a decade and have a kid now oh. 
Bonus story, it was raining the day I proposed so the romantic walk in the park was a no go. Instead we were walking around a pet store waiting until closer to the movie time to hit the theater. I proposed in the hamster aisle. I still haven't lived that down. I asked her for a job on Tinder. Asked her if she wanted to go for a ride in my motorcycle. She did. That was nearly 30 years ago. I got stalked by an aspie girl who learned I was depressed. Super empathetic. Had no idea I was uncomfortable around her. She's my manic pixie dream girl. Mine started out as a FWB. But we eventually caught feelings. Going on 3 years official now. Have female friends. It goes a ducking long way to just be around women so you aren't scared to talk to one. Eventually you'll be talking 100% casually and being your complete unfiltered self around them. Pretty much every girl I've ever been involved with was one I wasn't trying at all to get with. Just one day I realized they were cute and that were close. So I decide to flirt a little bit. If you know how to joke, you know how to flirt. If you notice they laugh to relieve tension rather than add something that's funny, they could be shy. But if you're 100% chill with them, it's likely sexual tension. Don't jump in 100%. Test the waters and try flirting a little bit. It's not binary. Even if they're interested in you they might not necessarily say yes to a date or anything overtly romantic in nature. Just take it slow and be considerate of how comfortable they are. Just kind of happened after speaking and being friends a few months. With my last one. Lasted 6 years. Was a great relationship. I was born with her attached to my right wrist colon. Tinder date gone right. First date it was pitch black out and minus 10 C. I took her to the river where there was a homemade zipline that you have to hook up to with a climbing harness. We zipped across the river and set up a hammock and some trees hopped in a sleeping bag and drank hot chocolate and bellies. She told all her friends where she was going and my name in case I was a serial killer or something. Turns out I'm not a serial killer and she's been my GF for 2 years now. I, 28M, got together with my girlfriend at 27. After knowing her for quite a long time as my cousin's best friend from high school. Since our families were pretty close. We quite often had vacations, night parties, etc. Together and my cousin's friend would sometimes tag along. Fast forward over 10 years, and me, my cousin, her boyfriend and my future girlfriend started planning a 4 day road trip together. Then, my cousin and her boyfriend bailed at the last minute. So I went alone with my cousin's friend. We enjoyed the trip together. But my dumbass brain couldn't recognize any of the hints she threw at me during that time. A year later, after me and my girlfriend met a few more times alone, but still weren't actually dating, my cousin, who was up until then refusing to play the matchmaker, couldn't watch the awkwardness anymore, had long and serious talks with me and her friend, and let us both know that the next time me and her friend met, it had to be a date. And so it was. My wife, I listen. I'm attentive. I care about what is going on in her life. And her growth as a person. I try to be funny. I try to be witty. Mostly. I do my best to care about her as I would care about myself. My wife was dating someone else when we met. So I became her friend while I pursued other people. When she finally broke up with her then boyfriend. We were such good friends the next step was asking her out. This is not always the best option but if you can start as friends and get to know each other it helps out a lot. Friend of mine thought she wanted him to ask her to the dinner dance, essentially prom. I knew she wanted me to ask her. So I bet my friend 10 bucks she would say yes to me. She did. Tinder. Now we're getting married. I was always terrified of talking to women. I went to my first party and had my first drink. Turns out that all you need to talk to women. And that's how I met my current girlfriend. I confessed to my crush that I love her and she kissed me. Then I woke up. I met my wife in class in high school. We just kind of started chatting. In those days we had AOL instant messenger. Which was basically texting with computers instead of phones. And we exchanged info and started chatting at night too. Then we started talking on the phone. Pretty soon I asked her out to dinner, and 13 years later we're happily married. 
it was all very natural and automatic. Imagination. But even she left. We meet in library. At that time we lived in a town in an former Soviet state and there was a big library where nobody comes but us. At my 18 years old I was very ashamed young man so it takes some time until we speaks for the first time. This happened when I heard in her headphones playing snuff by Slipknot and I understood that we have too much things in common and I can't lose this opportunity. So we speaks I don't remember what about and we go home together. I was surprised that she lives close to me but we never meet before. We walk. She recites some Baudelaire's poem and we speaks about books. One month later we move together. It was 6 years ago. We are married for 5 years. We were really good friends and I spoke to her every day. I took interest in her interests and just tried to get to know her. After beating around the bush for a couple months I plucked up the courage to actually ask her out. She made me wait another 2 weeks before she said yes though. We met in 7th grade and had known each other for about 2 years. 9th grade homecoming comes around. And I was thinking the worst that's gonna happen is that she's gonna say no. So I ask fully expecting her to say no. To my surprise she says yes. I thought she said that as a friend. So at homecoming I tell her how I feel. And she felt the same way. Then I got my first kiss. Been together 9 months. Does this handkerchief smell like chloroform? I showed up for our first date in a windowless black cargo van. We had Vietnamese food then I took her to see Mad Max Fury Road. We moved in together a month later. 7 months later. She became my ex-girlfriend because she became my wife. That was about 5 years ago. If this seems too sudden. I'm 49 and she's 42. We already knew what we wanted out of life. Frantically scrolling to find someone saying they got their girlfriend by staying at home and playing video games. Met her whilst dealing blackjack. She came onto my table after we both spotted each other from a distance. She was with her dad which I nearly confused him with as her sugar daddy or something until she said no thanks dad. I don't want a drink das, funny enough. She admitted to saying that in case I was having those exact thoughts. Anyway. I get tapped off to go on break and come back to a new table and she eventually follows. But so does her old man. It's a bit of light flirting fun and nerves and when she gets up to leave. In front of a full blackjack table and her dad. I went in and asked for her to write her number down on a coaster so I could contact her later and the dad loved it. He picked up on it earlier so he was wrapped which is lucky considering he lost 100 bucks to me. Three and a half years later. She's sleeping peacefully behind me as I lie here writing this with sleeping problems but I still couldn't be happier that I did that. You guys are getting girlfriends? Met her at a close relative's wedding. She was just at the end of middle school and I was trying to get into my university graduate school. We used to meet once in a while during family get togethers. Her parents were going through a difficult period when she finished school. I was fighting to finish graduate school and get a job which I did as a professor. One week the city was shut up due to floods and so I decided to go to her university where she was doing her graduate school. So we met again. Got married after a few years and moved halfway around the world. She passed away a few months ago after an eventful 37 years together. Spent hours designing her in Helgen. Match.com this was 10 years ago though and she's now my wife. I'm honestly really happy that I never had to deal with Tinder etc. I feel like when I was doing online dating the ratios were better and people weren't as picky. But that might just be my rose colored glasses. In terms of general advice. It's cliche at this point but you really need to be comfortable with yourself before you can meet the right person. Prior to my wife I was in a relationship with an extremely toxic human being who I was with purely because I was lonely and honestly a little depressed from being alone for an extended period of time. Once I got out of that relationship I realized how ducked up it was and took some time to myself. Got into a good headspace and ended up meeting my wife. It's the easiest thing to say from a happy relationship. But the worst thing you can be is desperate to be with someone. This thread makes me want to die. I am super uncomfortable with just introducing myself to random women and I do not like clubs bars. How the hell do I meet anyone? Truly going to die alone at this point. I didn't cause I'm gay and lonely. Working on that boyfriend thing though. 
I freed her from a bear trap. I knew I'd catch something if I laid that out in the park. She decided it when we met at judo classes. Informed me that we were now a couple for all intents and purposes. And I was not allowed to disagree. I disagreed and she kicked me. I question her judgement a lot. But 20 plus years later we're still together. Woke up with the same girl on and off for 3 years. Then we sat down and had a talk about it. Then a fight about it. Then whoops we gave it a try. Still together. We met for the first time when I was screaming at her in the middle of a forest not to cheat on her bf. She never intended to while I was really drunk in collage. I called her and asked her if she wanted to have sex with me. As a joke. When she answered and I asked she surprisingly said yes. I was bewildered. I was a virgin. 16m. She was also a virgin 16f. And never thought I'd get this far. I just decided to go with it and see if she was being serious about having sex with me. As the days went on. She was a bit scared to do it and to be honest. I was not ready to lose my virginity as a joke. I called it off and asked her to go on a date with me. Turned out that she really liked me. We actually ended up having 6 2 weeks into going out and we're still together. It's been 3 months lol. But she's really the only person that cares about me. I love her. And she loves me. Not every romance story is a perfect one. But ours sure is a funny story to tell. At an auction for used and forgotten girlfriends. Met her on Yik Yak. An anonymous campus post chat app that is now dead. And we became friends. I eventually convinced her to meet up and hang out. It took some work as she is incredibly shy. But I'm not at all. I broke down her walls. And now I'm in the best relationship I've ever been in.